Well, one of the fascinating things about this entire region is that you can't get here any other way except for to fly in. There's no roads. So it's literally millions and millions of acres of pristine roadless wilderness in the southwestern part of Alaska. First time I stepped off the plane up at the airstrip, which overlooks the entire property. In that moment, I felt like I'd found what I was looking for. My name is Wayne McGee, and I am the owner, together with my son Jacob, of ATA Lodge on the Alagnac Wild and Scenic River. You step off the plane and you're right there, and you get taken to your riverfront cabin, and before you know it, you're standing knee deep in the Alagnac River, catching more fish than you could ever imagine. The Alagnac Wild River is a fabled river of Bristol Bay because of its huge runs of all five species of Pacific salmon, together with all the resident fish that live here. We have a huge population of sockeye salmon that migrate every season. And then we begin to see the king salmon coming in. Then the chum salmon arrive and join the parade. And we've got probably one of the biggest runs of chum salmon anywhere in Alaska. On even numbered years, pink salmon also come into the river. And that's probably the second most numerous. And then finally, the last of the five salmon to arrive is the coho salmon, which is also referred to as the silver salmon. You have Dolly Varden and Arctic char, Arctic grayling as well. We have a variety of rainbow trout here that we call leopard rainbow trout because they're extra spotted and incredibly beautiful. I think they're probably one of the most beautiful rainbow trout on the planet. Over the course of the week, our clients will experience a wide variety of fishing and actually get to access up to 45 miles of river from canyons and gorges to small channels and braided sections of the river to tidewater. You can spend all day, every day, without seeing another boat, even one of our boats. So you have the sense that you've got the whole river to yourself. There's really no better part of Alaska to visit. It's the best salmon and trout fishing anywhere in the world. We're primarily a fishing lodge, but we also host a variety of wildlife photographers that come here because of the diversity of this ecosystem. The sheer volume of salmon that come into this river supports an incredible population of brown bears. It's just a cornucopia of Mother Nature's northern denizens. And the bears each have their own personality and they each have their own fishing style and technique they develop for whatever works for them. It's just a great location to see these bears in their natural environment, swimming around, snorkeling, looking for fish underwater. It's a lot of fun. It's the scenery, it's the wildlife, it's the fishing. It's the nice balance between rustic and comfort that the lodge offers and the family atmosphere that uh, we've created here. I think there's that need in all of us to get back to what's important in life. To be able to come someplace left in the world that's like it was, you know, centuries ago. And the numbers of fish are still there. And to not just catch the fish, but to experience that and to see it with your own eyes. I think that's what makes this part of the world so special. There's not a week that goes by that I don't have a guest that comes and says, yeah, this is really what I needed. I needed to get away. I needed to unplug. I needed to come and connect with something so deep that I didn't even realize how important it was until I experienced it here. <laughs>